There's a new BlackBerry smartphone on the block and with a five inch display, two gigabytes of RAM, a big 2,880 milliamp hour battery and more, the BlackBerry Z30 could be the first BlackBerry to compete head to head against the high end Android devices on the market. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com. It's a full video review of the BlackBerry Z30 and the question is, can this thing go head to head with Android, with iOS and with Windows Phone? Let's go find out in part one of the video review. BlackBerry's back in the game with the BlackBerry Z30, and there's a lot to like about this device, particularly if you're a BlackBerry fan. It brings the display size right up to compete with the HTC One, the Galaxy S4, the LG G2, and more with a five inch display. Now granted, it is 720p and it's a Super AMOLED HD display. It's not quite 1080p, but still putting it on par with other devices on the market and really giving BlackBerry an edge in this market. The question is, is it too little too late? Will people buy this? This was just announced today that it's coming to Verizon Wireless in the States. So in addition to purchasing it unlocked, you can get it through Verizon Wireless very soon. I want to stop and thank our partners at GSM Nation. They gave us the device to review for a couple of days, loaned it to us. So thank you to GSM Nation. If you want to buy this device, you can buy it from them for $629 by going to pdog.ws slash gsmnbb. Z30. So thanks to them for that. But this thing is packing a 1.7 gigahertz dual core CPU, two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, a little bit of a different design as well, though the carbon fiber back is reminiscent of the BlackBerry Z10. Back here, you're going to find an eight megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording capabilities. You're going to find a 2,880 milliamp hour battery on this device. and You're going to find BlackBerry 10.2 here as well. Over on the side, you're going to find micro HD or micro USB rather an HDMI port, and then over here you'll find your volume rocker, your voice button, voice activation button, and that is it with the exception of the power button and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top. I also want to thank our partners at Best Buy Mobile because they give us devices like the BlackBerry Z30 for use in our One Paw Bandit giveaway game. When you go into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working. They'll make sure your email, everything's set up, so when you walk out the door, you're good to go thanks to Best Buy Mobile. They hook us up with devices we give to you for free on the site, so thanks to them as well. Always great to have some great partners like GSM Nation and like Best Buy. Well, let's talk about this in comparison to what you can get on the Android platform or on iOS with the iPhone 5S. Lots of different options here, and the smartphone market's increasingly more crowded. So the question is, is this worth it for you? Well, let's dive in and talk about some of the strengths and some of the weaknesses of BlackBerry 10.2 and the BlackBerry Z30. So first of all, like I said, screen size is increased here. You can see the overall design, very similar to the BlackBerry Z10 in a lot of different ways. With the chrome down here at the bottom, you got, again, chrome on the sides and that carbon fiber back. But it is a larger device, much larger than the BlackBerry Z10. Z30 steps it up a notch with a bigger display, but you're still seeing BlackBerry 10.2 on the display here and running underneath everything, underneath the hood, if you will. You can see the typical applications are present here, and this is not an AT&T device. Actually, through GSM Nation, it is an unlocked device, but it does, when you throw in an AT&T SIM card, start up with the AT&T boot sequence, and then it brings in applications like Family Map and My AT&T. In addition to that, typical BlackBerry applications as well, including Evernote, Remember, and then you get to BlackBerry Hub as well, which is kind of the central theme of this device, if you will. It's the brain of the BlackBerry, particularly with BlackBerry 10. You can see the hub here, and it's got everything kind of amalgamated, mesh together, phone calls, emails, tweets, BlackBerry messages, and more. Well, the way to get through that is you can come over to the hub area here, and you can isolate by notifications, BBM, text messages, Gmail, Twitter, etc., etc. And you can see some of the sample accounts I have set up here. Hair on Baker, Gmail is my on-camera Gmail address. Twitter, my personal account is at Aaron C. Baker, and that's here as well. Calls, emergency alerts, pin messages, BBM. Now you'll notice also on screen here, you can open up BBM within itself like that, and then swipe back to have it running in the background. So it is part of BlackBerry Hub, but then also it's a standalone application as well. So you see that throughout the device with things like text messages, although when you open up text messages, you're gonna see here, it throws you right into BlackBerry Hub. So interestingly enough, there's no separate text messaging application. It does route through BlackBerry Hub as opposed to this, which opens up a separate area for BlackBerry Messenger. So we can go in here and take a look at text messaging, for example, and just take a look at the keyboard on this device. I was sending a demo message earlier, so that is a demo phone number, not my personal, don't worry. You've got portrait and landscape capabilities here as well, two gigabytes of RAM, dual core processor, this thing runs relatively fast with little to no lag, and you can see the traditional BlackBerry keyboard, at least post BlackBerry 10 over here on the device. So we'll type something like, hey there, how are you doing today? Thanks for the data and let me know how it goes. 
have a good day. That's what she said. So just a quick typing test there, and you've got your emoticon shortcut over here as well. And you can see down at the bottom your gestures here for text messages, for search, for compose, and more. And by bringing in compose, or more rather, it brings it in from the side here by hitting more, or you can go to text messages, swipe over and see your full BlackBerry hub as well. So it's all about gestures in BlackBerry, particularly with the advent of BlackBerry 10. And you can see here, keyboard's nice. Let's take a look at the browser as well. Running on AT&T's HSPA Plus here, not an LTE. The unlocked version does not support AT&T's LTE. PhoneDog.com, we'll load that up and take a look. And again, portrait to landscape here, nice and fast as you would expect. On this device, the dual core processor works well. Two gigabytes of RAM works well. This thing is a pretty zippy device all around, though I will point out that most Android phones have quad core processors and two and even three gigabytes of RAM and big batteries. So the question is, are you okay with the dual core processor? It runs fast, but are you gonna need that phone just because it's got a quad core processor? And I think that's the question a lot of people are gonna have when they walk in, particularly people that aren't as well versed on phones. They're gonna walk in and say something like, well, this one has four, but this one only has two. Why would I go with this one over the one that has four? So I think those are the kind of buying decisions that as retail reps, they're gonna have to overcome and promote the benefits of a device like the Z30 over perhaps something from iOS or something on the Android side. Just something to think about. Again, it's all about what you prefer in your device and what's most important to you. So phonedog.com loading up here. You can see I can open a new tab, for example, and keep those running. Over here on the side of the device, new tab. Click over here to phone dog as well, and everything seems to be nice and fast with little to no lag. So you've got a decent web browser here as well. If you remember back to anything in the BlackBerry days, the web browsing was constantly criticized. It's nice to see it come back up to par on BlackBerry 10.2. So you've got, of course, your personal information management stuff here as well, contacts, calendar, BBM. Then you've got BlackBerry World, which we'll talk about a little bit more in part two. Pictures, music, movies, story maker, which we'll cover when we cover the camera as well. It's a pretty interesting application. And I'll go ahead and back out of that. Let's create a new story. And swipe out of that. And you can see, of course, my social media stuff as well. Maps has been redone. We'll take a look at Maps as we conclude our part one. And you can see what it looks like over here on this device. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. It's gonna GPS locate where I'm at. And you can see, zooming right out into the Dallas Metroplex here. And you can see where my office is in relation to downtown. And of course, Fort Worth over there, DFW, all that good stuff. Pretty zippy all around. Portrait, landscape nice and fast. Pinch to zoom is nice and fast here as well. You can see this device is definitely up to par with other smartphones on the market, but BlackBerry has a nice little solution here. We'll go to, for example, let's say, hmm, let's find an address. Let's think of something. How about, just throw in something here. Uh, 6262, there we go. Country Road, Fisk, whatever that is. And you can see how it looks. I just wanted to show you how it looks with some sort of navigation loaded up or some sort of icon loaded up right there as you can see. So Maps is pretty decent as well and you're noticing that as I'm closing out these applications I can either physically close them or keep them running in the cards right there and you'll see some of the more advanced applications like BBM when people update their pictures or status etc. You're going to see it change real time on the cards. Keep it locked on phonedog.com. In part two we'll talk about the camera, we'll talk about more stuff in relation to the user interface, all kinds of good stuff coming so you're going to want to keep it locked right here on phonedog.com for part two of the BlackBerry Z30.